Today we are talking about the Nikon Z50 mirrorless camera. The Nikon Z50 is quickly becoming one of my favorite travel cameras and lens combinations just with the kit lens. It is the 16 to 50 millimeter lens, which is a 24 to 75 equivalent in full frame. There is VR built into the lens, so you, even if you shake a little bit, it, it basically acts like in-body stabilization. And in my testing, it's always performed excellent regardless of the situation that I'm in. So we're gonna go for a little walk around. I'm gonna show you a few sample images, some sample video clips, and we're gonna go to some other places with this camera, like Tokyo, Japan. There's a time and place for a big camera, and there is a time and place for a small camera. This Nikon Z50 is small, it's tough, and it connects really easily with my phone. And even though this camera is small, it uses the same lens mount as the other Z series cameras. Big mount means more light, which means faster focusing, sharpness, contrast, low light, performance, and in general, just better image quality. It also feels really solid. Usually cameras like this water down the physical body and take things away, like the back and front wheel for aperture and shutter speed. But to my surprise, this camera has it. The thing that a lot of people were talking about when this camera first came out was the down flip screen and how crazy it seemed. But quite honestly, it balances the camera better than having a side flip. And I feel like as somebody that speaks to a camera and self films, that I'm more looking directly at the lens when I'm looking kind of below the lens to see my framing rather than off to the side. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of my videos when I'm self filming that I'm kind of looking off over here. And I feel like this keeps me more, a little more centered just kind of looking directly into the camera. And for hand placement, like it just feels kind of good like this. I honestly feel like it's better than the side flip. Um, I like it better, and if you are interested in putting this camera on a tripod, it might conflict with the down flip screen, but Small Rig makes a little adapter that can put the hole right here, so you're able to use a tripod hole um, that's kind of off-center, so you can still see your down flip screen if you are on a tripod. Even within a smaller camera body, I am totally happy with where all the buttons are placed. Everything just seems to make sense. The ergonomics are great, and to just have as a walk-around camera, the quality is more than good enough in every circumstance that we've discovered so far. So let's go take some more photos of the impossibly blue water here. It's middle of the day and it is not traditionally a great time for photography that kind of 12 noon ish sun we're going for a walk out there and then over there it's a nice light as someone that's traditionally a little more of a timid street photographer this camera really fits my style it doesn't attract a lot of attention and gives me the image quality that i would expect from a professional nikon camera but at an incredibly reasonable price point. I'm also going to go into shutter speed mode, down to like 1 15th of a second. So whether you use this camera to amp up your social media game or to fill in the gap between bringing a professional camera and just having your phone, you really won't go wrong with the Nikon Z50. Of all the cameras that I've used in the past couple of years, this one has certainly surprised me the most. Thanks for watching and if you haven't yet seen the Havana episode of the show, it came out on Monday and there's a link to it in the description below.